Okay, let's have a look at the integral of 4 divided by x cubed plus 4x with respect to x. So initially when we look at this we might think of this as a partial fractions problem because with the integrand here 4 divided by x cubed on 4x we can factorize an x out of the denominator so we have x outside of x squared plus 4x and of course then we can separate the terms in the denominator into partial fractions so we can write this as some constant on x plus a linear expression bx plus c divided by x squared plus 4x and of course then we've got to go ahead and solve for all of these coefficients before being able to execute the integral. Now there's nothing wrong with this approach but we mathematicians are a little bit lazy in that we like to follow the path of least resistance in order to solve any given problem. So if there's a way that requires less work to get the same result, we'd like to pursue that. So with this integral, if we can write the integrand, let's call the integrand p of x. If we can write this in terms of some function of u, f of u, by the derivative of u, and we can use a substitution. Or better yet, if we can write the integrand in terms of the derivative of a function on the function itself, then we simply know the result is the log of the function itself plus a constant. So that's just a standard integral. So let's see if we can write 4 on x cubed plus x plus 4x in terms of this or this. Let me write this down again, 4 divided by x cubed plus 4x. Let's factor out an x cubed from the denominator. So we can write this as 4 divided by 1 plus, if we factor out an x cubed, we have 4 divided by x squared by x cubed on the outside. And of course I can rewrite this as 4 by x to the negative third power divided by 1 plus 4 by x to the negative second power. Okay, cool. So integrating both sides, the 4 can come out the front on both sides. Now what if we let u equals 1 plus 4x squared? Then we can make this substitution. The derivative of u with respect to x is equal to, sorry this should be negative 2 here, is equal to negative 8 by x to the negative cubed. So if I just separate the differentials and write the dx on the left hand side, sorry that's dx not du, then I can substitute u and du into the above integral. So let's do that. So we have, so we have the integral is equal to 4 by the integral of, well we have u on the bottom, we have this x to the negative third power by dx on the top. Let's actually rewrite this as 1 on 8th or negative 1 on 8th du equals x to the negative third power by dx. So to avoid confusion we still have x to the negative third dx on the top which I can write as 4 by the integral of or negative 1 on 8th, negative 1 on 8 du on u. Okay, so the coefficient can come out the front again. So we have negative 4 on 8, which equals negative a half by the integral of du on u. And of course the result of this is negative a half of the log of u plus c. So to complete this we have to back substitute the expression for u. So we have negative a half times the log of u we said was equal to 1 plus 4 by x to the negative 2 plus c. And for neatness I'll just rewrite this as negative a half times the natural log of the absolute value of 4 divided by x squared plus 1 plus c. Okay, so we've got the result of the integral of 4 divided by x cubed plus 4x with respect to x using a substitution. 
what about the f prime on fx approach? Well, this really is an extension or a shortcut of the substitution method. So we still have the integrand 4 divided by x cubed plus 4x, which we of course know is equal to 4 by x to the negative 3 divided by 1 plus 4 by x to the negative 2. And integrating both sides, and taking the coefficient 4 at the front again, well we can see this x to the negative 3 power is the correct order for the derivative of x to the negative 2 power. We just need the correct coefficient of negative 8 in front. So if we multiply by negative 8, we also have to multiply by the reciprocal 1 on negative 8 to cancel out its effect. So let me write this out again for a bit of clarity. So we have 4 by the integral of x to the negative 3 divided by 1 plus 4 by x to the negative 2 dx. I'm going to multiply the top term by negative 8, and in doing so I have to multiply also by negative 1 on 8. Alright, this negative 1 on 8 I'll bring out to the front. So we have again negative 1 on half when we cancel it out with the 4 by the integral of negative 8 of x to the negative 3 divided by 1 plus 4 by x to the negative 2 dx. So if we let f of x equals the denominator, 1 plus 4x to the negative 2, then we can see that the numerator is the derivative of that. So we have the derivative of f of x on the top. So for completeness, let me write these on the side. So we have f of x equals 1 plus 4 by x to the negative 2, and then f prime, the derivative, is equal to negative 8. Bring the power down by x to the negative 3. Take 1 from the power. Okay, I forgot a 1 up here, sorry. Alright, so that results in again. So the integral of this is simply the natural log of the absolute value of f of x plus a constant. So again, we have the integral of 4 divided by x cubed plus 4x dx is equal to negative a half of the log of the absolute value of x, sorry, 4 divided by x squared plus 1 plus c. Okay, so both of these ways would have saved us quite a few steps compared to if we use the partial fractions approach. But uh, you can use the partial fractions approach to verify that these methods are correct. So that's always a good thing to do. So that will do it for this one. If you found it useful, please give me a like and please subscribe to this channel for more videos that may help you with your studies. Please ask me any questions below and I'll try and answer them in future videos. Use the comments below to do this. And I'd really appreciate any small donations or tips that you can give me because uh, helping me will help you as well. And the instructions for that will be in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.